Okay, very important step here. These are simply the div tags that we call branding, site nav, news bar, main content, Google as footer. Okay, so these, these um, div tags are going to have rules to the div tag. So how do I create a rule for my div tag? Just like we did in previous classes, previous videos. I select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now, I don't have to be this specific to say, wrapper branding i don't want to say wrapper branding wrapper site now wrapper news bar i'm going to be less specific i'm going to come up here to box category category box and I'll make the height of my wrapper 150 pixels now very important step which we talked about before 150 pixels i want to put some padding in here so i'm going to put in 10 pixels of padding all the way around now when you hit the apply option this is no longer 150 pixels high this is 170 pixels high i don't want to make it 170 pixels i want to keep it at 150 so i need to minus 10 in the top 10 in the bottom i need to minus 20 pixels now it's going to be 150 pixels high very important step here okay make a change save a change now <clears throat> excuse me news bar news bar and site nav which is inside the sidebar div so I just come down here and select sidebar div. I'm going to select the sidebar div because that's going to have the float attached to it. So the site nav is going to be follow, is going to be above the news bar div. So select down here in the bottom left, select sidebar, come over here, make a rule for sidebar. Again, less specific. So we're going to make our sidebar box category, category box. We're going to make the width 150 pixels. We're going to float this to the left. <clears throat> so therefore there's our sidebar now in this particular case we're not going to pad the sidebar we're going to pad the site nav and news bar inside the sidebar totally personal preferences on how you wish to do this but the sidebar height the sidebar height is going to be the height of the site which is 650 650 was the height of the wrapper minus the branding tag so I get this is my starting point minus footer, which is going to be 25 pixels. So the footer height is going to be 25 pixels. So we need to minus 25. Now to demonstrate that the sidebar is there visually, we're going to give the sidebar background color just so we can see it aesthetically visually. So we're just going to give this a light yellow color. There's our sidebar. So news bar is inside of sidebar and site nav is inside of sidebar. Okay, so here's site nav. Now for site nav, we're gonna basically make a rule for that. So we're gonna go to site nav. And the only thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna give site nav, which is inside of sidebar. Now in this particular case, it does make logical sense to say, to say that sidebar is the parent of site nav. Site nav is inside of sidebar. That's totally acceptable. Okay, so let's hit okay. So what we do here is box category. Box category, the width, we'll just keep the width this, the same. The height basically will be the height of itself, the height of its content. The only thing we do here is give this some kind of padding. So let's give this 10 pixels of padding. Okay, so the sidebar has 10 pixels of padding. Now, I want to drop the sidebar from the top a little further from the top. So I'm going to deselect save for all, and I'm going to say plus half inch plus 36, which is 36 pixels. This drops it down 36 pixels from the top. Okay, make a change, save a change. News bar, I select news bar, select the, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule over here. So I say news bar which is inside of sidebar. Again, totally visually acceptable to do it that way. Okay, so box category, box category for news bar, we're gonna do the same 10 pixels of padding. Now again, I don't have to set the width and the height because it will self adjust to its height. I don't have to float it because the parent div tag, which is my sidebar has the float. These two div tags don't have floats, nor do they need floats. Okay, so make a change, save a change.